Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. What is the minimum value of y equal to absolute value of x minus 1 plus absolute value of x plus 1 plus absolute value of x minus 3? where x is a real number. So these problems are common in a number of standardized tests that involves the modulus sign or the magnitude sign or the absolute values. And these are actually not hard to deal with, but it helps to find a, a method that can be applied to solve such problems uh, in a system that uh, leads you to a correct reliable answer. So first of all we start with this definition of how you know modulus of a variable or you know you could call it the magnitude or the magnitude function or the absolute absolute value function of a variable is defined and it's usually written uh, by two bars on either side of the variable. So that's the modulus of A. And that is equal to A if the value of A itself is it's a, it's a positive quantity rather than equal to zero. Whereas if, if A has a negative value, less than zero, then the modulus of A will be simply negative A. And to describe it, this is basically, you know, just the magnitude of the variable without the sign. So that's what modulus of a variable essentially means. So now we are given this function y, which is basically the sum of absolute values of three variables. And all of these variables are uh, in x. So there are x minus 1, x plus 1, and x minus 3. So we'll basically you know, start by paying attention to the terms within the modulus sign. So each of those three terms within the modulus sign. And basically, you know, defining this function y, you know, depending on how the signs of those individual variables within the modulus sign changes. So let's start with this one. So here we have x minus 1, x plus 1, and x minus 3. So, that the, so those are the you know, three variables within the modulus sign. So let's start with what happens when x is less than minus 1. Then it turns out that each of those three terms within the modulus sign are negative. And the value of y will be therefore minus x plus 1. So we're basically taking the negative of x minus 1. So that becomes minus x plus 1. Then x plus 1 becomes minus x minus 1. So that's just the negative of you know, x plus 1 within parentheses, right? And then x minus 3 becomes minus x plus 3. The modulus of x minus 3 in this case will be minus x plus 3 because all of those three quantities you know they are, they are less than zero so their modulus will be basically the negative right and now we can simply sum this up and that sum comes to minus 3x plus 3 so whenever we have a linear function it's a linear one variable function right and the sign before the variable is negative. In this case, it's x. The sign before x is negative. So that means that this is a decreasing function. This is a function with a negative slope, right? And we know that for functions with negative slopes, uh, they're decreasing functions. And lesser the value of the variable, right, greater is the value of the function. And conversely, greater the value of the variable, lesser is the value of the function, and then 
less of the value of the variable, greater is the value of the function. So if we are to find the minimum value of minus 3x plus 3, and remember that here x, we are only considering values of x less than minus 1. So this is defined only for values of x less than minus 1. Since this is a decreasing function, this function will take its minimum value at the highest possible value of x within the range. Now as x becomes more and more negative, so if it goes from minus 1 to minus 2 and minus 3, the value of this function will basically increase because it's a decreasing function. So as the value of x decreases, the value of y will increase because of that. So if we are to consider what's the minimum possible value of this function, of course within you know the, 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 the range of x, right? So this is only defined, remember, for x, my, x less than minus 1. So this is a decreasing function, and if you have to find out what's the minimum value of this function, since it's a decreasing function, we have to you know, find the minimum value at whatever the maximum possible value that x can take. And since x is less than minus 1, the maximum possible value that x can take within this definition within this range is close to minus 1. So we don't have a, you know, less than equal to sign, so we have less than sign. So it's x can take its maximum possible value close, something that's very close to minus 1. And if that happens, then the value of y will be the minimum possible value within this range, right? And that will basically, I write the tending to so I can't write it strictly equal to because we have x less than minus 1 and not x less than equal to minus 1. So the minimum value of y will basically be tending towards the value that this function will take when x, you know, is very close to minus 1. And that will be, so if you substitute x equal to minus 1 in minus 3x plus 3, you basically get, you know, minus 3 multiplied by minus 1 which becomes positive 3, and then 3 plus 3, so that makes 6. So that's the minimum value. So the minimum value within this definition is, you know, something that's very close to 6, if not equal to 6, right? So let's consider some of the other ranges. What happens when x lies between minus 1 and 1? So minus 1, you know, less than equal to x, less than 1. So that's the range of x. In, that, in this case, the first term within the modulus, x minus 1, will be less than 0. But the middle term, x plus 1, will be actually greater than or equal to 0. And then the third term, x minus 3, will be less than 0. And accordingly, we can you know, write the function y as you know, minus x plus 1 plus x plus 1 minus x plus 3. So we just take out the modulus sign. And keeping in mind the signs of the modulus, we basically take the value of the variable itself or the negative value, and we sum this up, and this is what we get, y equal to 5 minus x. And again, the negative sign before x tells me that this is also a decreasing function, meaning higher the value of x, you know, lower is the value of the function. And then we have to ask, well, what's the maximum possible value that x can take within this range and that value is you know what's the maximum possible value so for the maximum possible value this function being a decreasing function will basically take the lowest possible value so in order to find the lowest possible value of this function we have to basically ask what's the maximum value of x and since x is defined, the range is defined is my, up to minus 1, less than or equal to x, less than 1. So the maximum possible value of x will be something that's close to 1. And if we substitute x equal to 1, we can get that the minimum value of this function y will be somewhere close to 4. So next we consider this range of x, 1 less than or equal to x, less than 3. 
And for this range of x, if you look at the terms within the modular sign, x minus y will be greater than or equal to 0, x plus 1 will be greater than 0, but x minus 3 will be less than 0. And accordingly, we can write the function by taking out the modular sign and adjusting the, the, you know, the signs of the, of the variables within the modulus. Uh, and, and this is what we get, y equal to x minus 1 plus x plus 1 minus x plus 3. And then um, if we you know, do all the addition and subtraction, we basically are left with y equal to x plus 3. And again, we have to ask the question, well, what is the, what is the, you know, minimum possible value that y can take? Now, x plus 3, the sign before x in this case is positive. So that means this is an increasing function, right? And an increasing function will increase more and more as the value of x increases. So for for finding the lowest possible value of an increasing function within a range, you have to basically find what's the lowest possible value of x within the range. And in this case, the lowest possible value of x within this range is 1. So this function y will take its minimum value for x equal to 1, and that minimum value is going to be equal to 4. Because the range here as defined is one less than equal to x. So we can basically, you know, apply the equal sign here. And then there's just one other range of interest for x, which will basically complete the function definition for all possible ranges of the variable, and that's x greater than or equal to 3, in which case all of those terms within the modulus are positive. So the value of y will be simply adding those terms up by removing the modulus sign and that comes to 3x minus 3. And again, if the sign before x is positive here, so this is also an increasing function, and we know that the increasing function, uh, its, its lowest possible value, the minimum value, will be also for the lowest possible value of the variable x within the range. In this case, that value is 3, so the minimum value of this will be 3 multiplied by 3 minus 3, which is 6. So now we have basically defined this sum of absolute value functions for different ranges of interest. And for each of those ranges, we have found out what the minimum value of the function looks like, right? And from out of these, all these minimum values, the minimum of the minimum is 4. So the correct choice in this case would be option C, 4.